Hi, I'm Aubrey Sitterson, Community Manager for WB Games here at THQ, and I'm here with the legendary Big Daddy B, Brian Williams. How are you, sir? <laughs> did you just call me Big Daddy B? I did, B? I did. That's what we call him around the office. Uh, I had no idea. I yeah, no not idea. when you're around. Just, just, just around the office. Oh, okay, generally. all right. I like that, Big Daddy B. That's all right. <laughs> Brian's here with us to uh, talk about moose sets in WB 13. Moose on sets. sale October 30th, 2012. Uh, we went on the forums, we opened it up, People got real nitty gritty. They got real granular. I saw that. Questions. I saw that. And uh, I've got 13 of them here for you. 13. WWE 13. It's a little fitting, ah, don't you think? I get it, brother. I get it. This guy right here. We've been working. Yeah, yeah. We've been working on it. All right. All so, right. Uh, you ready? I can't lie, man. I'm a little nervous. But, don't, uh, be. don't be. But I got you here with me. The it's camera be... loves you. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about <laughs> that. But no, I'm ready to talk about this. Let's go. Let's awesome. Go. Our first question comes from WWE Fan 515. All right. Uh, it's about one of our favorite superstars. And that can only be the one and only. D. Bry. What new moves does Daniel Bryan have compared to last year? It's a good question. Good question. Love this starting off with my favorite uh, superstar right now. Uh, he's got a lot of new moves, actually. Uh, his, uh, let me see, off the top of my head, he's got a uh, running drop kick into a corner groggy opponent. He does that quite a bit. Awesome. Uh, his that suplex that he does, he does. There's a different name. There's a couple different names for it. Uh, like online, it's like the hatch suplex. It's that suplex he does when he kicks his leg out when he, oh, when he cool. flips the guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys will see that when you pick up the game on October 30th. Uh, he's got uh, oh another corner grapple that he has in the game this year is uh, the rapid kicks to a corner guard opponent. We uh, trap the opponent in the corner and just throws those kicks into his midsection. Awesome. We've got that brand new for him as well as the guillotine choke. Uh, it's one of his new uh, finishers. Uh, he doesn't use it so much anymore, but he did during the startup production, so we wanted to, to make sure he had that move on his moveset, and it is a breaking point submission. During the feud with, uh, with Big Show, he used it a bunch, right? He did, he did, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, lock in that uh, that choke, so we got that in there for him. Uh, and I believe, I believe that's it. It's uh, a lot, though, for one guy. It is, it is a lot for one guy, but it's like, you know, we all, as we always do every year, we try to, you know, do our best to, uh, to update, make the guys as current as possible. So, uh, so yeah, that was that was D. Brian. Cool. So uh, this is good. Starting off kind of easy. Yeah, yeah, easy. yeah. We'll, right. we'll we'll ease into it. So I appreciate uh, that. Uh, brace yourself for this one. Uh, All right. It comes from Raven RKO underscore turns hashtag heel yes b i t w, and he wants to know about Kofi Kingston's Trouble in Paradise, and he wants to know specifically whether whether they'll be able to edit the Trouble in Paradise and get rid of the gut kick. By edit the Trouble in Paradise, you mean to like create a finisher, I, I imagine? Or? I think so, I think that's the... Yeah. Uh, first off, I'll answer that part first. Uh, yes, you can edit the Trouble in Paradise through create a finisher. Uh, which, might I add, you can now use your created finishers. You don't call them created finishers anymore, they're just special moves. Okay. Because get this, brother. You can now use these as signatures as well. So nice. they're not just creative finishers, you can use them as signature moves as well as, as, well as finishing It's a question moves. we've had a lot too. Really oh good really? To hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we lot. added that new this year. Uh, but yeah, you can go into a custom special move and you know, uh, create a Trouble in Paradise without the gut kick. Um, I have heard, you know, going back to the gut kick and why he has it, uh, we were not able to provide him with a new Trouble in Paradise. It's mm -hmm. the same one that he's had in WD12 and 11, I believe. And uh, I, you know, to all the Kobe fans out there, you know, I apologize. You know, it's just one of those things where, you know, we take a look at the character and we find out, okay, what on his moveset needs the most attention, the most work. And for us, it was uh, his boom drop. His boom drop was really in desperate need of uh, some renewal. Because one that we had in 12 was pretty ghastly, if I, might, if I can say that. I hope that doesn't get edited out. But we actually gave him a new boom drop that I think looks fantastic. It looks good. So looking at, at Kobe Kingston and his moveset, that was the one thing that, you know, for me especially was very glaring, that needed some work and some attention. So, uh, you know, moving forward, you know, I, I heard all the complaints on my Twitter account. You told me about, you know, why has he got the gut kick? And, you know, moving forward, you know, uh, it's in here. So uh, we'll try to get that rectified uh, in the future. Cool. So um, we talked a little bit about some new moves. Uh, Daniel Bryan yep. and Kofi Kingston. Uh, hashtag the real heel punk wants to know um, just, you know, I, think, I don't think we're going to be able to do specifics, but generally, right. he's got three questions. Okay. How many moves were added? How many moves were reanimated? And how many moves were taken out? Okay, well, no moves were taken out. That's, that's huge. So, I, yeah, no moves were taken out this year. How many new moves were added? It's been uh, approximate, because like you said, I, don't, I can't give out yeah, specifics, because yeah. I don't want 
to give out a specific number and they get right to the coals <laughs> and people buy the game and find out that I'm off by one or something. Uh, approximately 300 new moves wow. have been added uh, to the game this year. And that includes, you know, comebacks, taunts, uh, grapple strikes, uh, the whole gamut. Cool. Um, and as far as new moves that have been reanimated, again, approximately between, I would say, between 60 and, and 75, 80, give or take. So uh, quite a bit. Yeah. You know, we did, like I said, you know, the boom drop was reanimated, uh, some other uh, attacks we've had in the game for a lot of years that had just, you know, grown a little long in the tooth as far as their appearance. Mm -hmm. You know, some basic moves, you know, back suplexes and, sure. and whatnot, the kind of basic moves that most superstars perform, we uh, reanimated those as well. So uh, it's a good number of, of both reanimated moves and even larger number of new moves that we added this year. Cool. That's great. That's a, that's a ton of new stuff. Um, when you're doing that, uh, get a segue. Yeah. When you're doing that, uh, mod underscore cyber ocelot is one of our moderators. What kind of data do you review in order to figure out what makes a correct move set for a superstar? Whether you use only WWE archives, mm -hmm. right, like archival footage from the WWE promotion, or if you also review stuff that superstars may have done before joining oh, WWE, you know, whether WCW or ECW or something like that. Who's this from again? This is Mod Cyber Ocelot. Mod Cyber Ocelot, he, what's up, brother? This is a great question. He like comes question. correct with uh, questions for Q and A's. Doesn't there's, there's yeah, another one from him later? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, I like this stuff. question. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a good, good, very good question. Uh, it all depends on the superstar. Okay. We start with the WWE. Make sure that we're we're getting all the moves that he's doing currently on programming, so that you know when you watch him on Raw, SmackDown, and you're seeing him do all of his moves, you're getting that in the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then at the same time looking at what he's done in the past. We like to take some of those and add them to his moveset as well. Because, I mean, we have, oh, what's the number? We have, there are over 30 moves, just like grapple moves, that a superstar can, can have in their moveset. So it's a lot. Right. So it's like, for a, a, you know, building a moveset for a guy like Daniel Bryan or a guy like CM Punk, who's been on the scene for such a long time, it's easier to kind of fill out their moveset, you know, based on what they've done in the past, as sure. well as what they're doing currently. Uh, much more so than a superstar who's, you know, maybe had only, only just a stint in the WWE. But uh, I'm kind of rambling. But the answer to the question, yeah, we look at both, you know, what they've done in the past outside of WWE, as well as what they're doing currently. Right. Uh, and like I said, every superstar is different. You know, you take it by their own, you know, uh, their own history. Right. Uh, use Wikipedia a lot. Uh, <laughs> Wikipedia is great. Uh, YouTube sure. is great, as well as just watching a whole bunch of matches. Yeah. You know, which I do anyway. Of course. Which we do. I mean, we're all fans. And that's, you know? I mean. And if you look at the game, I mean, I think that stuff kind of comes through because, just by way of example, I can't get him Brian. Uh, he's got cattle mutilation. I w he does, yeah. Right? No, yeah, he does. He's got and he does, I think he might have pulled it off once when he was on NXT. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. But he doesn't do it currently right now, but we've got it on his moveset. You exactly. know, because that's one of the things that, as a longtime fan, you know, uh, I think people would be expecting him to have that move. So that's one of the moves that he did elsewhere that we have. What's the technical name for that? Is that a bridging? Double a bridging chicken wing. What is that? Double underhook. It's a chicken wing, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if it's an exact chicken wing. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to, to look it up. We'll have to look that up. Okay. I'm sure yeah, somebody yeah, will correct us. Yeah, video. good. That's that's what we need. Yeah. More people correct Corrected us. us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mr. FN wants to know how difficult is it to go back in and tweak existing moves? How difficult is it? Yeah, it's not that is difficult, mm -hmm. it's that it's time consuming. Right. So, and we've done this before, like uh, we've gone in and re-edited some moves that have been in the game, but it's one of those things where it, it takes time away from maybe us adding in a new move outright. So, you know, you just have to weigh the, uh, the, the balance as far as if the move, deter if, it, if it really needs a tweak versus can that time be spent elsewhere. So it all just depends, you know. Um, I don't know if you have an easy answer for this, but you know, time-wise is obviously it takes a, it takes less time to tweak one than to create a full new one because you're not getting. You'd be, it. you'd be surprised. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Like, I mean, is does it a lot of times does it take less time and just go ahead and create an all new move? A lot of times it does. Okay. Because once you get that new motion data in, because if you, when we have to tweak anything, an existing move, our animators at Ubisoft they have to go in and, and make these tweaks, you know, by hand. You know, when we deliver a mocap, you know, move or a strike or, or whatnot, like that data, I mean, they still have to do some things by hand, but it's more or less they're given the full dinner, as it were, right. versus, you know, uh, having to, that's a terrible analogy. I, 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 just, I was going with it anyway. Yeah, I know you were. I, I was going to stop you. I appreciate that. 
But no, I'll just I'll, I'll drop that right there. But no, it's uh, it's not. So it's not. It's not as simple as like the create modes in the game. Right. right? right. I think a lot of times people assume that it's. It'd be easier. Oh, you know, we'll just flip the switch and make. Yeah. You know, make him use the right arm instead of the left arm. Or yeah. Something there's like there's that. definitely a lot more that goes into it uh, than that, um, and just you know having worked with you know Yuke for as long as I have and their animators, I know from them personally, like I've been told that they prefer to have you know new data to work with. Versus, you know, uh, tweaking an existing uh, move or, okay. or animation. And so, I mean, I think the the takeaway there, just to sort of um, re, uh, reiterate that reiterate um, for folks at home, yeah. is that that's not to say that it's easy or a, a quick process to create right. a new move. It's <laughs> the takeaway there is that it's it's difficult and it takes a lot of time to just go in and even change like really tiny things, tiny things like yeah. you know, right leg versus left leg. Exactly. Things like exactly. that. You're dealing with locomotion at that point, you know, and, and the blending that's involved. You're practically you know, creating a whole new movie. You are, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Cool. Hey, um, can I just say before we move on to the next one, you're doing a fantastic job. Thanks. You're doing a fantastic job. Just in general or this specifically? Well, I'm talking specifically Let's here. Let's talk about in general too. But in general too, I gotta okay. say, you know, Aubrey is new to the uh, community uh, management team right here at WWE Games and He's doing a great job, brother. Brad's earning it. his kickbacks this I week. am, I am. I just, no, <laughs> seriously, though. Me and you become friends. I like to we're believe. Bros. And yeah, yeah, we're bros, man. And I'm just glad that you're here. Thanks, man. Yeah, I just want, just want to get that out there. He's weird. Uh, I like it. I like it. Listen, I don't mind There's a bromance bro. No, it's fine. It's fine. Right, Listen, right. like the new, are you going to be Kane or are you going to be Daniel Bryan? Oh, uh, Daniel Bryan. Can I be? Right. No, yeah. I've been here, I've been here Listen, the longest. I'm going to be Daniel Bryan. Can we take turns? Yes. I don't want to cover up this. Look, I've already got the beard. You do and I don't want to cover up this beautiful face. And you face. Got, this, got the complexion as well. I know. <laughs> you got that going for you. I, at least if I was Kane, I have a mask on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the gloves. And so. fire powers. And fire, that's true. Listen, wow. I don't know. There's no wrong answer. Make it rain fire on them. Uh, so, uh, no, that's out of the way. Uh, <laughs> our next question comes from Magic Murder Bag. Magic Murder Bag. <laughs> right. I love these names. <laughs> Magic Murder Bag. What's and up, brother? They want to know why aren't more submission moves, especially finishers like the Mandible Claw, set up as breaking point maneuvers? Yeah, good question, good question. Uh, here we go, I gotta do my best, you know, uh, tip to one. Well, I'm sorry, yeah, we definitely, we don't have the Man of a Claw as breaking point right. this year, but we do, we did add some other moves that we've had in the game as submissions, but that weren't actually breaking point submissions. Okay. Uh, so the Romero Special is a move that, you know, uh, Natalia performs in mm -hmm. WWE as well as you know Daniel Bryan does it sometimes. We keep going back to Daniel Bryan. He's the best. This, yeah, I, I know, but I just want people to, up there to know that I, I'm, we're not just leaving all the, the attention on Daniel Bryan. <laughs> but that's just one example of a move that we had in the game in WWE 12 with the Romero special that wasn't a breaking point. It was essentially just a move you did. You know, you get the guy in the hole, he wrenches for a couple of times, and then releases it. Right. But we actually uh, converted that into a breaking point submission this year. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the Mandible Claw didn't make the cut. Um, and I have been hearing some stuff about that on my Twitter account. How much work goes, I mean, is it like what we were talking about before? Yeah. How much work goes into changing a submission to a breaking point submission? Well, we'd have to just, you know, honestly, just it's it's all new, you know, mocap mo data. Uh, there's no way that we could take the Romero, just using Romero Special as an sure, example, sure. take the Romero Special 1, as it's called, the non-breaking point move, and convert that into a uh, breaking point submission in the time that we had to produce this game. I mean, obviously, if we were doing everything by keyframe and having the animators go in and actually manipulate and create all these brand new animations for it by hand, it could be done. It would just take forever and a day. You'd be starting from scratch again. Right? You'd be starting from scratch again, essentially. Gotcha. So uh, we, had, we go in and we uh, mocap. There's a certain way that we mocap the breaking point submission. It's the whole process. And, uh, and we were talking before we even started filming just yeah. about the, the, uh, the time and cost involved. Even without the camera on us, we're just yammering we're just about talking. movesets. Yeah. We are, we are. We, we can't get enough of this stuff. But it typically takes, you know, for the, the time and the cost involved to create one breaking point submission is essentially three grapple moves. Okay. So that just to let people know out there, I mean, it's, that's why, you know, when it comes to breaking points and adding new submissions, it's definitely, you know, we kind of weigh that against what other new grapples can be added to the game because it does, it eats up a lot of our, uh, our move costs. Right. But we did add quite a bit of new uh, breaking point submissions this year. Uh, Colossal Clutch is new. Cool. Uh, Lasso from El Paso. The, you know, the late, great Eddie Duero. Yep. We got that in there. The Merrill Special, like I mentioned. As well as a whole bunch of cool stuff from our DLC Move Pack. Sure. Which can I talk about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have, um, you know, right now it's in the, it's the funny thing how time works. Right yeah, now it's yeah. in the future, but when this airs, 
That's awesome. been done. Yeah, I yeah. love that. I talk love that. It. Talk, I will talk about it. The Kimura Lock, which I know everybody that hit me with value, is Brock's got that. Yep. Uh, you'll be able to download that as part of the uh, DLC move pack. The Fujiwara Armbar nice. is another uh, cool one. Uh, Pin Up Strong. Do you know? Are you familiar with Pin Up Strong? That's it's, not the. That's not the. That's not the double thing that they, they did together, is it? It's the, it's this crazy submission that uh, Natalia and Beth Phoenix were doing. It's hard to even explain, uh, but. Yeah, just it's, it's look. Tag team, the one that they do together, like in tandem at the same time? No, 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 it's an individual move. Oh, okay. It's an individual move. Uh, what is it? It's hard I to I feel explain. bad now. I, I no, you. Like... I know you've seen it before. It's they, oh man, I don't even know how to describe it. I just go on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we'll figure it out. I think these guys probably know yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we can cut some footage in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool, that's great. Um, let's talk about pitting moves. Otavio to Toto wants to know, if hitting moves are back in WWE 13, for example, things like schoolboy, roll up, backslide, etc. Etc. That's uh, another fun question that I'd be more than happy to answer. Lay it on us. Uh, so these moves are back. Cool. In the game this year, uh, it feels good to have a question where I can actually say, "Oh yes, <laughs> it's in, it's in, brother." Uh, the way these work, uh, these, these these moves are actually part of the new improvements we've done to the leverage pin. Which is, an, okay. which is an ability that we've had in the game for the past couple of uh, iterations. Uh, in last year's game and the year before, leverage pins were only able to be performed via countering. Okay. So what we've done this year is that people, people, superstars, superstars. They're not just people. They're not just people. Superstars that are equipped with the leverage pin ability uh, can now trigger these as an offensive maneuver. Okay. Which, you know, meaning that, you know, a guy like CM Punk, uh, he can perform a, a, a schoolboy, a roll up, as an offensive attack against a standing groggy opponent uh, in certain situations. Is it only a groggy grapple? It's a groggy situation, yeah. When the guy okay. is on his feet in that stun state. And it's can, a uh, grapple? Or? It's, well, it's, a, it's a pin. You basically, you move the right stick down. Okay. And you'll see, there's a little prompt on the screen to let you know that you can pin from that situation. And uh, you can, you know, roll the guy up into a, a quick uh, schoolboy. Cool. I mean, we added roughly uh, four to five new uh, animations. Nice. So you can actually go into custom moveset and you know customize your leverage pin. Are they uh, all schoolboys or is there? No, they're not. We've got some Hurricane Rana type uh, pins nice. like the Luchadors. Um, but the really cool thing that I really love is just the back and forth reversal you can do right. through the uh, these uh, leverage pins. Which have you seen where you get the guy in the pin? And it's when you have like you've got the the blue window just to kick out and then the yellow, the window, yellow window, to window to reverse. To reverse, right, right, right. So and we made changes to that as well, so that in last year's game. Anybody could do that, could hit that yellow meter mm -hmm. to reverse into a pin of their own. But the way it works this year is that uh, the only superstars that will be able to have access to that is if you do a leverage pin on a superstar that also has the leverage pin ability equipped. Okay. It gives them an, an avenue to you know turn the tails or turn the reverse cool. fortune on the on the uh, the pin attempt. Nice. So it's really cool. I mean, it just when you, when I see it happen in the game, I just kind of get a smile on my face because like, it looks like wrestling, and that's what you see. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's back and forth. You know, uh, penitents. I think they call them fish out of water spots, from what uh, my mocap brethren tell me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you know, that's something I really like about the game too, is that it's it's reversal heavy, and yeah. it feels like wrestling. It feels well, like people going back and going forth. Going back and, and forth, and that is wrestling. You it's know? not it's, just taking turns doing moves on each right. other. It's, you know. It's countering. I mean, that, like you said, that is, uh, I mean, outside of doing your maneuvers, it's all about, you know, reversing and countering sure. to get the upper hand. So you can do an attack, and, and our game is very heavy, uh, you know, reversal, ripping. But I think that's what makes our game uh, feel and kind of uh, embody the essence of what professional wrestling is. Right. Yeah. So, uh, cool. Um, next question. Goku Bob wants to know. Goku Bob. Have any new sections been added to create a move set? And if so, some examples. Uh, well, I just mentioned the leverage pen. Sure. Uh, being able to customize that freely. Uh, what else? Uh, we've added new grapple slots for the chain grapples and the groggy grapples. Okay. In last year's game, uh, superstars could only perform four mm -hmm. grapple attacks from out of their chain holds and then four groggy grapples. And that's still determined by the left analog stick. By the stick. left analog stick in conjunction with the A button. But now just by pressing the A button by itself without any input from the left stick, you can guess a whole nother move you can perform. Oh, so you've got five now. You've got five now. Cool. So, uh, so that's new. Uh, five times. Five times. Five times, five times, grapple attacks. <laughs> uh, the, uh, another position that we added that you can you know, change this year is the, uh, wait, maybe we added 12 actually. 
But when the guy is groggy on the middle rope, right? Like in that six foot nine position almost. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think actually maybe we allowed players to uh, to customize that last year. Maybe we didn't, but we added a whole bunch of new moves for that position. Nice. Just to, to break you know break open the uh, the move sets and give people that much more kind of flexibility as far as how they want to customize their, uh, their creative superstars or want to change around when the default guys. Cool. So we made a couple of changes. Right? Yeah, it's no, a lot. Um, that shit, this stuff adds. I almost swore. That's so good. Uh, no, this, it's all right. It's, it's all right. It's, it's, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that middle. stuff adds up. That stuff, you know, uh, five or you know, an extra grapple on each of the. It does. Things. It's, that's a ton of new stuff. For, it already takes me uh, a day and a half to uh, to choose all my moves for a guy. It's a lot of moves. Uh, it's a lot so of stuff yeah. to wade through within custom move set. Uh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. But I know our fans love that stuff. Absolutely. Um, Here's a, you know, with the magic murder bag. Um, your favorite. Yeah, you know, magic before. murder bag. Bang, uh, bang, bang. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> they want to know uh, whether, in creative moveset, whether they'll be able to choose their own limb targeting uh, attacks. Yeah, you know, uh, I saw this question before, and mm -hmm. surprise, surprise. <laughs> and this was a good one. And unfortunately, no. I have to say, you know, you, we're not able to do that uh, okay. in this year's game. But it was a great idea, and you know, I love the limb target uh, system, and not just because I, you know, designed it. Like I just think it's <laughs> is, that a, is that a humble brag? No, is that, no, no. Is that no a I hashtag mean, humble brag. It's, it's not a hashtag humble, brag. or maybe it is. Maybe it is. <laughs> but I just, I just think because I watch so much wrestling, you always see somebody working over yeah. different body parts, you know, uh, to get a submission or just, you know, because they want to work over an arm or, or a head or whatever. Uh, but no, that's a really good idea, and it's something that you know we'll definitely maybe look for. Into uh, in the future, you know, as far as you know, whatever new improvements you make to uh, custom special move or whatnot. How I guess. does that stuff determine that, um, like the, the, limb, the limb targeting grapples and attacks? How they're determined? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how they're is, set like, up? Right. You know, is is, is is there is there some factor that determines which ones people use or? Oh, it's, well, it's just like assigning any movement custom moveset. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know, when I'm doing movesets or creating a moveset for a guy, like we have, you know, I think it's probably one of the questions that's coming down here uh, next. Is that get ahead of ourselves? Get ahead of ourselves, but no. But you can uh, actually edit uh, the moves that appear within each superstar's custom moves, uh, limb targeting move set. I see. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's what we're. I, I thought that's what this question was. Wait, so what are you saying? Well, what are you saying again? I'm asking. <laughs> Let me see this. Can we? Can they set their own limb targeting moves, like for your oh your duh. created superstars? Yeah. My bad. <laughs> yeah. The answer is yes. The right? answer is yes. What a tease. I know, what a I know. Tease. You get people all worked up by saying no and then turn around and say, oh yeah. I got, I got, I got flustered. I, I told you guys I was nervous. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. I, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Yes, you can do that this Okay, show. good. I yeah. thought so. I was sort yeah. of shocked. I wasn't, I wasn't and that was that look anything. on your face. You're like, I, I think know. Brian might be on. Uh, no, maybe I asked it poorly. Uh, no, I think you know, yeah, maybe I, Magic Murder Bag asked it poorly. No, you Let's blame him. Never blame Magic Murder Bag for anything. For anything. That was all my bad. Okay. Uh, yes, the answer to that is yes. You can, uh, Cool. for the first time, edit the, uh, the that's move rad. on the target system. Yes. So that's four extra move, or no, eight, right? Because the, it's eight. the so we've down got, ones. You've got limb targeting in each one of the chain grapple holes. And those are all different this year. In last year's game, they were all the same. Holy cow. As well as the grounded position, as well as when the guy is standing groggy. So. It's going to take me forever to make my Japanese strong style wrestler Johnny Sapuku this year. But you know what? I'm here to help, man. It's gonna take me forever to do. It might, it might, but it'll be so, it'll be so worth it. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. What's his name? Johnny Sapuku. Johnny Sapuku. Okay. Yeah. It's all kicks and and dragon suplexes. That's all it does. <laughs> it's about to have a wrestler, right? Yeah, there, it's though. rad. Let's try to get this one right on the first try. Okay. Shall okay. We? Yes, uh, yes. Justin Lynch three wants to know if there are any new positions in Create a Finisher. Okay. Justin Lynch. Uh, unfortunately, no. Okay. This year we didn't. We did not add any new positions in uh, custom special move, as is now known, creative finishing uh, mode. Uh, the big things that we added, like I mentioned earlier, is just being able to use these moves as signatures. And uh, of course, we've added new move parts okay. to the uh, custom special move, uh, you know, set of selectable moves and everything. But no new attack position. Okay. But you know. It's Always. a lot of stuff in there already. It's a lot of stuff in there already, and, and again, it's one of those situations where it's like, you know, of course, we would have liked to, but, you know, we only have uh, so much time. Uh, I feel like we're kind of running out of positions to do finishers from. Yeah, also, I mean, honestly. Yeah, like. yeah. I mean, I think, I think we have the most, uh, <laughs> the most used positions covered, you know, yeah. front, rear, 
corner diving. I think we've got the we've got the, the nuts and bolts down. The yeah, big yeah, ones, yeah. yeah. Okay. But that won't stop us from me looking looking to improve upon it in the future. Renegade Fortune. Custom special move mode now. Yes. Right? Is that what we're calling custom it? Custom okay. special move. Renegade Fortune wants to know whether there are any new animations for custom special move. There are new animations for custom special move. Uh, I've mentioned this on my on my Twitter in the past, but uh, I know there are a lot of fans out there that are fans of the package pile driver. Yeah. Uh, you're talking to one of them. You're talking fan. to one of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're a fan of the package pile driver. Mm -hmm. Uh, we actually added a new package pile driver uh, impact move part. Nice for the for the move this so year. You can build it yourself. You can build it yourself. There were some some uh, complaints about uh, the past couple of of games where we kind of teased the package pile driver, but right. didn't give them the full on impact portion of the move. So we added a new one in the game this year. So uh, all the fans of package pile driver, you'll be happy, and everybody else. Who maybe have never seen this move? I think once you see it, you'll be impressed. You'll with become it as well. a fan, I think. And then, of course, we added some new uh, parts to uh, the front grab position, cool, uh, and the diving position as well. So, yeah, nice. definitely new moves. Excellent. Um, you know, and this is a question for me, honestly, as, as well as for people at home. But yeah. uh, when people say new animations as opposed to new moves, do you differentiate those two? Just Trying to codify the language here. Yeah, yeah. You know, on, it, it, honestly, it's, it's all about the context and what yeah, we're yeah. talking about. Because usually they'll say, you know, uh, a new animation. And I'll take it to, to mean a new move. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, it's just all about the context. Like we're, we're talking about moves here, so when I see animations, I'm thinking moves. Right. And the same thing, moves, animations. It's kind of all one and the same. Okay. But there are situations like if you were talking about navigations and animations, I'd be like, well, that's not moves specific. We're just talking about animations insofar as they're related to the navigation of the superstar. Interesting. Navigation so, meaning just the walking Just the around. locomotion, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, all right. But if you want, we can just stick the move. No, 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 I, you know, I, I, think it, I think it's useful, and I think it's, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like the distinction is that um, you can get, if you get a new move, that, that necessarily means that you have to have a new animation, right? Right. But if you do a new animation, it could be on an older move. You can update the boom drop, right? The boom drop got a new, an new animation, but it's not a new move. It's actually a new move. Oh, it's a new move. It's a new move altogether. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and by yeah, I guess by when I say new move, I mean you know created from scratch. Meaning we went to the mocap, we hit, we had it on the shot list, especially to be captured, a uh, brand new for the game this year. Gotcha. Uh, so that's what I mean by okay. by new move. No, no, it's no, helpful. Yeah, something that has been created from scratch versus it been edited. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Mod Cyber Ocelot. Is Cyber Ocelot. Another question. Yes. Uh, can we customize catching finishers separately from finishers? For example, can I give someone the RKO as a finisher and also give them the code breaker as a catching finisher? It's a great question, and uh, I really I, I kept this on here because I wanted to just explain to you and all the people watching this just how these catch finishers are determined. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't have a separate slot determined for catch finishers. Okay. Uh, each superstar, as you know. Each superstar in the game has two finishers. There's their, fir their first finisher slot, and then their second finisher move slot. Mm -hmm. uh, the first finisher slot is just you know pressing you know Y, and then the second one can be left stick and Y if they're in the same situation. I'm getting outside myself. The uh, whichever finisher is assigned in that first finisher move slot right. is the move that will be used as the catch finisher. Okay. For example, uh, the RKO. Mm -hmm. uh, Randy Orton has the RKO assigned as his first finisher. Uh, therefore, during gameplay, as his catch finisher, that's the move that will be used. If he had a, another move in that slot, then he would not be able to use the RKO as his catch finisher. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. To kind of answer the question, I mean, there's, there's a way that you could make this work, right? Because you could have, I mean, who's asking, um, the RKO is a finisher and the code breaker is a catching finisher. So you could have the code breaker in that, in that first, first Y slot. slot and then the RKO right. in that in secondary that second slot. slot. Right. Mm -hmm. but, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the way it functions. Uh, just so you know, uh, players are, are familiar and aware mm -hmm. how and why this certain move has been used as a catch finisher versus mm -hmm. their other finisher and what's going on with that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Hope that makes sense. Hope I answered that sufficiently. I think so. I think so. Okay. Uh, this is our last question. It is already? Yeah, man. Time flies. Oh Time man, I'm having you know We're those nerves class. I was talking about. Gone, gone. absolutely gone. I'm right at home yeah, right here. Right. Well, we can only <laughs> have 13 more questions, brother. Uh, so are you ready? It's our last one. It's the last one. This is yeah, a, a fun it. one. This is an easy one. Skull Maniac 28. Skull Maniac. Scary name, fun question. Yeah. 
What are your favorite newly added moves to the game this year? Uh -huh. Oh, this is a good question. Yeah. All right. Let's do some different ones. You, you mentioned all the Daniel Bryan stuff. So I did. I'm, I'm not so touching non Daniel, Daniel Bryan. Bryan I am not going to touch Daniel Bryan. Oh, really good question. Uh, I've got a couple. Can I, can I say yeah. more than one? Yeah. I mean, we're, we're having fun. All keep, right. Keep all going. right. Cool. Uh, we, we actually added a new uh, move this year uh, for the High Flyers, an inverted Frankensteiner. Okay. Are you familiar with that move? I can imagine it. Yeah. Yeah. The guy, yeah, it's a rear grapple. It looks fantastic. Uh, a lot of the guys on the indie scenes use this. Uh, I might have seen it in WWE a couple times, mm -hmm. but uh, that's uh, the move looks devastating. Is cool. hell. Can I say hell? Uh, yeah, we, you have twice now. Oh, so. have, oh, oh, sorry about oh, that. Yes, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's devastating. It looks impactful. It looks like it hurts. Uh, so I think all the, I think fans will be you know digging that when they see it. Cool. Uh, another move that I'm really really happy that we got in this year is the top rope brain buster. Probably outside of, you know, a running leg drop, right. which we also have in the game this year. Nice. I listen. I do. I really do. We all do. Yep. We listen to you guys. You know, we... we, we Even when we don't respond. Even when we don't respond. We hear we, it. We hear it. We, we read it. We take it in. We take it all in. Uh, so outside, yeah, of that running leg drop, you know, one of the, the top moves that I would get requested for or be added to the game is the top row brain buster. And it actually is a part of our uh, DLC move pack. Cool. So, uh, you know, players will be able to download that. And that's another move that you you know what it is you've seen it and oh it's painful looking man. Yeah, yeah. and it looks beautiful it came out really really uh, fantastic in the game really really stoked about that one uh, what else There's so many good ones uh, the Kimura lock of course you know we got that in there for our boy Brock Lesnar it looks brutal it does it does it looks really good we also have his a uh, Brock lock oh cool the stretch muffler yeah it was also looks pretty cool. Um, but what else? I, I could go on and on. I mean, I think the moves that we added this year all look fantastic, you know. Uh, and, I, and, and props go out to uh, my mocap team. Of course. Not my mocap team, but the oh, mocap the yours. team. The yours. The mocap Own team. Uh, <laughs> they've all, they all do a fantastic job, you know, coming in and, you know, risking their, their bodies for the, the betterment of the sure. show. So I just want to give a shout out to all those guys. Uh, but yeah, I mean, those are probably my favorites, cool. I would have to say. Yeah. Nice. Outside of any Daniel Bryan moves. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's it, man. Thirteen. We blasted through them. Next time we'll have to do we'll have to do twenty six. Let's do it, man. Because this was fun. You know, I I feel I'm just now getting into a really good groove here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we can go. We can just redo it. Just start over. Just Get rid do, of all the. Go to, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for taking the time. Thank appreciate you for having it. me. Thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, it. Thank you for the questions. Um, yes, as thank always, you very much. Uh, come to the forums we.thq.com. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, uh, at WWE Games, yeah. like us on Facebook, also facebook.com slash WWE Games. Are you going to give out my Twitter account? Uh, if you, why don't you give it out if you want to? It's uh, My Twitter handle is at True B Will, and that's uh, True T-R-U, B Will. Is, does somebody have T-R-U-E? No, I'm just a fan of, uh, are you a fan of Nolan somebody, I'll, I'll tell you, someone has it now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As of right now, probably. someone else has it. Probably, probably. Uh, uh, and yeah, um, if you haven't already, obviously go buy this game. Yes, please. Pre-order is still not too late to pre-order, right? Pre-order, pre-order, and get uh, automatically Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. You do it from GameStop. You get all that fun um, CM Punk ice cream bar ice stuff. Ice cream bar stuff. Yeah. Or get that uh, that Austin 316 edition. That's what I would recommend. Me too. I totally recommend everybody go out there and get that Stone Cold Steve. A little bit more expensive, but. All of the bonus content. Yeah. All of the in-game items. Good content too. Also hand-signed. Art card. Oh, I saw that. It's worth yeah. you know. It's worth the extra money right there. I saw. Yeah, I saw one of our staff actually counting them to make sure that they had the right number. They have though. a bunch of them. A we got bunch of them. We got yeah. boxes of them. Yeah. Um, just getting ready to slot in. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. We did it. All October thirtieth. Right. Get this game. Please get it. It's it's a, it's a wonderful game. <laughs> it's a wonderful game. It's great.